everyone thank you so much for joining me we are going to be looking at the bmw b5 alpina now before we do that let's look at this we have the beautiful new 5 series look at those lines look at those contours i think it's a wonderful looking machine we even see an m badge on the side which is really interesting even though this is not officially an m car but i do love the look of it i do love that bmw is still holding its conservative look it is continuing uh, with the F series. I think that's the F10. I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful look. So of course, as I'm sure you have seen, the new 5 series was released and shared. And I want to do the video on the B5 because, I mean, that's the B5 Alpina. Come on. And I think this is really, really interesting to see that the prototype was spotted. So we'll take a look at the pictures right at the end. But we all know that the B5 Alpina is not released in the United States. And that is mostly because of the M5. The M5 does really good competition with the B5. And so they really don't want to mix that up. That's why we do have the B7 Alpina because there's no M7. And so that's a very, very interesting thing that I don't know how many of you know, but I learned that as well. Now, there will also be the M550i xDrive M performance model that pretty much will replace the 550i. And so that one is very, very similar to the B5. And so they don't want to mix up all of these series so that they can, you know, of course sell. In terms of power plant, you guys I'm sure want to know what it's going to be with. Well, they're going to stick with the basically trusty 4.4 liter V8 that has basically been a bulletproof engine. About 600 horsepower, 0 to 60, they calculate in about 4.2 seconds with a top speed of 204 miles an hour. For a four-door heavy saloon, whoa, the top speed really always impresses me, of course, because these cars just get faster and faster. Um, not so much the 0 to 60 time, that always is tweaked, but more the top speed, which is really interesting. So this car is going to be about 220 pounds uh, less than its predecessor, which is really interesting. They're going to have not a 7, but an 8-speed auto transmission so that you can get quicker shifts. That's really, really, really interesting. Of course, the M5 uh, will only be available on the sedan, as it always has. The B5 Alpina will come in the B5 Touring Wagon form. I just want to show you some of the shots, of course, here of the vehicle. This is of the B5, the spy shot. So, of course, it takes a lot of the cues from the standard 5 Series, but you can tell from the front here, the front bumper, that is just Telltale Alpina. That's just the look that they were always given. And of course, if we look to the side, we do see them trying to camouflage the look of the car. But if we look to the back, we do see the quad exhaust. So we do, excuse me, we do know that this is not a regular 5 series we do know that this is something special now you could say this is an m car and we don't have the side vents here that this is the m5 however look at the rear wheels over here and yes they are different but the rear wheels does give a pretty good indication that these are alpina and you do see telltale alpina signs when you look at this car here it is gassing up uh, right before it hits the track, so pretty cool. It is interesting to me that they do use different wheels, but I think, of course, they're testing testing it. They're doing all these different things to it, and you do see all of this. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for the B5 Alpina, even though it won't be coming to the U.S.? But think about it. A lot of this stuff will push over into the M550 Performance vehicle. Don't forget about that. So this isn't a total waste for everyone there in Europe enjoy your b5 however over here in the states do know that we won't be getting gypped we'll be getting something very similar and so we can be happy with that thank you so much don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more car news and more car reviews thank you for your love